welcome to my channel this is grace manzi in the video today i'll be showing you a very easy diy project okay very very easy butterfly top okay it cannot be easier you know i make it very easy for you on this channel okay before i get into that uh, video i just want to say a very big thank you to the subscribers of this channel all the likes the comments and all the sharing and taking time to watch my videos thank you so much and may god richly bless you if you are watching me for the first time today is your day just hit that subscribe button also the notification bell and you will never miss any of our videos that are coming up on this channel okay now let's get straight into the video you are going to need your fabric a chalk a tape measure some pins and a pair of scissors measurements required are as follows your shoulder measurement your bust measurement your waistline measurement shoulder to bust measurement bust to waist measurement and your sleeve length measurement okay the first thing you do is to fold your fabric into four i've got four layers here one two three four okay and this is a closed end which is going to be the center front and the center back okay this line here is the shoulder line okay so we're going to input our measurements starting with our shoulder measurement and um, sorry i forgot to let you know that you should have your ruler any ruler will do okay so my shoulder measurement is 70 divide by two i get eight and a half okay so i put eight and a half on here measure eight and a half and put a mark okay that's my shoulder measurement okay and then i'm going to do the neckline first so i'm going to make my neckline just um, four inches wide well five inches okay because i'm not going to open it downwards i'm just going to put five inches for the neckline and for the back neckline i'm going to go down one and a half inches okay and then i just go ahead and make a curve to make the back neckline okay so that's my back neckline done right for the front neckline it's going to be a little deep, deeper okay so it's going to be three inches deep right so i'm going to go ahead and make the front neckline okay right so on the shoulder line here i'm going to come down by one inch okay to make the shoulder slant then i take my ruler and go ahead and draw the shoulder slope okay right so that's that about the shoulder okay now i'm going to impute the shoulder to bust measurement okay which is 12 inches right so i'm going to put the 12 inches down here and mark i'm going to draw a straight line so i have to put a few marks okay here we go go ahead and draw a straight line for the shoulder to bust measurement Next, I'm going to come to the waistline measurement. Divide by waistline my measurement by four. That eight divided by four is nine point five. Okay, so I measure nine point five here and put a mark. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and put half an inch for ease. All right, and then half an inch sewing allowance. So that will make it ten point five. Okay, 
So I'm going to mark here 10.5 mark. Now with the bust line, I'm going to divide the bust measurement, which is 42, divide by 4. I get 10.5. Okay. So I'm going to measure the 10.5 here. Right. And I'm, again, I'm going to add a half an inch. Sewing allowance and half an inch is. So all together, I've got 11.5. Okay. So I'm going to make, put mark here on the 11.5. Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead now and draw the butterfly. So this is why it is called a butterfly top, okay? So what you do is, you just draw a curve from here, up, which goes all the way like that. Okay, can you see that? Right, and then the next thing you are going to do is just to join the, the first measurement to the west line measurement using a straight line. Okay, so this is our butterfly shape that we have. That's why it's called a butterfly top. So the next thing I'm going to do is just to go ahead and cut it out. Now before I cut, I cut it out, I'm going to blend here so that I don't have a corner right there, okay? Because I want it to flow. So I'm going to draw another curve joining from the waistline, okay? So that I have a smooth curve here, right? Okay, right. So I'll start cutting out from the back neckline first. Okay, then I'm going to separate the front and the back so that I can cut out the front neckline. Okay, that's the back. And then I can go ahead now and cut out the, the front neckline. Make sure it's aligning very well. Okay, so that's the front and that is the back. Okay, that's the front and back of your butterfly top. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is to cut out a waist bed, okay? Right, this waist bend um, is going to be the width of my the desired width, but it's going to be the um, waistline measurement length, okay, plus the desired tie that you want because you are going to tie it at the front and at the back, okay. So that's what I'm going to do cut out a waist bend which I'm going to attach here, okay. As for the neckline. You can either finish it off using bias binding or you can do you can make some facings that you are going to attach here i'm going to just get a strip of bias binding that i'm going to use to finish off the neckline so that's what i'm going to do next okay now i've got my front and back uh, butterfly top pieces i've got my two strips of um, bias binding that I'm going to use for the neckline 
and I've got um, several strips of um, waistband pieces that I'm going to join together because with the uh, all waistbands you double the width that you want because you are going to fold it in half then you end up with your desired width okay so I'm going to join these uh, pieces to make one big um, waist bend and a smaller one for the front piece as we are going to observe as we go on with sewing our butterfly top now with this you are ready to start sewing to start sewing pin in place front and back pieces together with right side facing as I have done here okay now using a quarter of an inch sewing allowance join the, the front and back and the shoulder seams together as well as doing um, overlocking to neaten the seams so that's what I'll be doing now okay now the shoulder seams are done as you can see okay nice and neat the next thing you are going to do is to open up okay now you've got your neckline to tidy up okay the front and the back neckline so you're going to get your bias strip right which I have joined here to make one long strip use that bias strip to knit in your neckline okay that's what I'm going to do now now the neckline is done as you can see it's nice and very neat the next thing you are going to do is to do overlocking on the sides starting from the back all the way around to the front end okay you do the same on the other side as well you just go up overlock all this way around to the front from the back all the way to the front you do it on both sides that's what I'm going to do now now after sewing the edges like that with the overlocker the next thing you are going to do is just to fold in the width of your overlocking like this okay can you see that and just do an edge stitching okay all the way around and then that will be your right side looking nice and neat okay but if you happen to be using a thick fabric like a woolen or jersey or um, knit, heavy knit fabric, you can use um, decorative overlocking thread so that you don't have to you skip this part that I'm doing. But since I'm just using ordinary Ankara fabric, which is 100% cotton, I'm just going to be uh, folding in, okay, and, and hem, or sort of like a hem or an edge stitch to knit and feather the side seams okay so that's what i'm going to do now so the next thing you are going to do is to start with the front waist bend okay so what you do is you measure the midpoint of the front as i have done here okay you cut a piece of the waist bend strip that you have prepared and also mark the midpoint of the strip which matches with your front leaving half an inch allow sewing allowance on either side okay so with wrong side facing right side facing sorry you're going to pin in place the, the front waist bend okay matching with that that mark there okay and then you pin it in place right pin it all the way to that end and also this other end once you've done that use half an inch sewing allowance and join join it to the front okay so that's what I'm going to do next next you are going to turn to the wrong side of the front okay now you are going to fold in the half an inch that is at the end here okay once you have folded in that half an inch as you can see you fold half an inch here and then bring it all together to the top okay and pin in place I hope you can see what I'm doing okay 
this is a very flexible fabric so I can afford to do it all at once so here I pin it like that okay so I carry on folding half an inch until I get to the end okay and pinning it in place like that okay Once I get to the end here, I do the same, fold in half an inch, fold in half an inch there, right, can you see that, okay, and then fold it to the top, okay, and uh, pin in place. Okay, you can just finish off now, pinning here. Once that is pinned, you go to the right side of the of the front. As you can see, it's looking very promising to be very good. So what you do is you start edge stitching from the top, okay, all the way, go around and also edge stitch the bottom and then come back to the seam. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do now. Okay, the next thing you are going to do is to measure one inch in okay and mark and make a, a button hole there along the mark okay right do the same on the other side just measure one inch and mark and put a button hole there as well so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to put two button holes one here and one there the widest you can at least the three centimeter wide button hole on both sides there now for the back you are going to pin it place the waist band as I have done here and make sure to add belt extensions on either side the length of the belts is according to your desire okay your desired length of belt extensions on either side so the first thing you are going to do is just to stitch the waist bend in place between these two seams here that you can see okay so that's what I'm going to do now now the next thing you are going to do is to pin in place the waist bend just like you did with the front okay you just fold in half an inch and pin the waist bend in place now for the belt extensions all you do is just to carry on with half an inch on either side and carry on with the belt until to the end okay and if you want to shape the belt at the end okay this is what you do you get to the end of your belt right let's say this is the end of your belt now okay and you want it like a diagonal shape all you do is just to cut cut the end of the belt like that okay and you are going to end up with a, a belt that's good that shape right so you just carry on with the half an inch here half an inch there and then you fold in a quarter of an inch at the edges here and then that's it you've got your shaped belt so I'm just going to carry on pinning and then I'll show you once the pinning is done and then we go, we go to the stitching of the belt and the lower waist belt okay all the pinning is done now and the belts and the edges and they are all shaped okay now the next thing i'm going to do to achieve the best results before i do any edge stitching which is what i'm going to do in the end from the end of the belt all the way around through to the lower back okay all the way to the other belt so before I do that, I just want to go ahead and press using a hot iron so that stitching is going to be much, much easier and I'm going to achieve the best results. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do now. So that is the finished top, right? So you bring in the 
belts from the back through the button holes here at the front okay and then you tie the belt and there you go there is a butterfly top for you i'm going to show you how it looks on the mannequin okay okay just like the name looks like a butterfly it's called a butterfly top okay so that's the front all right side view as you can see it's looking wonderful there and that's the deck right thank you very much for watching god bless you and please share with your friends who are like-minded and also give the video a thumbs up thank you very much and god bless you